the numbers you need. Tadak returned to racing at Belmont today over a thousand metres, smashing the course record in a sizzling 56.9 seconds on a dead track with a false rail out some 18 metres. The Ark is reported not to be at his peak yet, but judging by his run today, he's set to run the best in the land off their legs. Sestich allowed Placid Arc to move a couple off the rails in the straight. He's a length and a half in front of Sky Falou and then Colpack running on. But Sky Placid Arc is well out in front from Sky Falou. Colpack is finishing on strongly. But you're looking at the greatest sprinter in the history of West Australian racing. The Arc is coming, Melbourne. Fear him because this is devastating. He's a champion, a freak. Big statements. We'll have to wait and see. Apprentices earning... ...thousand mark. metres on a slightly rain-affected Belmont track. Placid Arc's next... Mission is the Chernside Stakes at Caulfield on August 13. Placid Ark started at a prohibitive odds on quote, and Hercules, as he's affectionately known, didn't let his army of supporters down. But you're looking at the greatest sprinter in the history of West Australian racing. The Ark is coming, Melbourne. Fear him, because this is devastating. He's a champion. Apprentices again took the honours at Sandown today. Ernie Marchand and Gary Skinner both rode doubles. 18 year old Marchand achieved a unique feat by riding four consecutive. Carnival.